Welcome back everybody, today we're here to talk about the opening minutes we got for The Walking Dead Season 9 Episode 16 titled The Storm, which is the season finale. We're going to go through the entire opening minutes, break it down for you guys, discuss it. So with that being said, let's get started. So the opening minutes uh, basically is like the aftermath of the Pikes. And we ha we actually have like a little bit of a time skip. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to go ahead and assume like maybe a few days. But before we get into the visuals, um, King Ezekiel during the opening minutes, he was giving a speech. Well, he was talking into like a radio. Um, and I'm not sure why. He, again, that radio I think is going to have a big play into this episode. Um, and I think, you know, the whole eugene and gabriel thing with the radio and again here now i'm not sure if uh you, if uh, ezekiel is like recording himself or talk just talking into this radio but i think he's talking into the radio just in case somebody out there could hear him but before we get into the visuals like i said i want to read king ezekiel's speech for you guys because i can't play the video out loud but i i wrote down the speech while i was listening to it so this is what he said it finally broke and we can fix it i kept trying to hold on we did but things fell apart the cold set the fire raged, the rot spread. It's knowing when to keep fighting and knowing when it's over. If only for now we need help, shelter, because more storms are to come. But we'll never forget the magic we built in this place. The love, the acts of courage. Cowards die many times before their death. The valiant never taste of death. But once we head out into the uncertain future, we must be valiant too. All of us, together. So essentially, that was King Ezekiel's goodbye to the kingdom because the kingdom has fallen. And I'm actually pretty sad that the kingdom has fallen because the kingdom is one of the... I think I would say the kingdom is my favorite community. Like, no joke. It's Like, I just love the kingdom because it's such like... The kingdom has, you know, they work so hard to make this place so safe and so secure and they have so many families there and the people that are in there have like no worries for the outside world you know like they, they like they have like a group of people who go out and do all the dirty work but they make this place like so homey for everybody so it is sad to see it go i mean they didn't even tell the people who live there about the saviors because they didn't want them to worry about their families or anything so you know i really hope in the future they end up fixing it but you know we saw in episode six all the pipes were you know having some issues so now it kind Kind of fully set in and uh, it's basically impossible to live there but hopefully you know after the weather gets better and you know it gets more warmer outside they can go back and fix it and we're seeing the destruction in the opening minutes like as he's talking like we can see all the you know the pressures going up everybody's trying to like you know make sure the wa like the water's going all over the place they're trying to stop it and it just isn't working so they're gonna have no choice but to leave and then we have carol here sitting on the bed and king ezekiel lying down and this is what i mean i think it's gonna be like a few days after the pike situation and i think they handled it well the more i think about it the more i'm happy with what they did because back when we knew when the first when the whispers first got introduced like we all kind of assumed the pikes to happen at the end of the season but i was assuming it was going to happen in the in the season finale because like a big moment but i'm happy they did it in episode 15 because that gives episode 16 some sort of like like there's possibility for hope and that could be tying in with the radio like what if you know we even see the radio in this opening minutes when king ezekiel is talking to you. like what if we hear rick's voice on it that's a popular theory out there but i i think there's a reason why they didn't do it in the finale and hopefully they're going to give us some hope for the characters and for fans at the end of this episode and in king ezekiel's speech it goes both ways like for the whispers and like the literal situation with the uh, you know pipes and stuff i don't think it's just talking about the pipes just like how the title of the episode the storm isn't just you know about the blizzard it's about the storm against the whispers and they're gonna have to go fight them now and the whole speech like if you don't even if you don't think about like him talking about you know the kingdom falling like this is definitely a speech about war and they are gonna go to war i'm sure that's what this episode is gonna be setting up because in the promo we had them crossing the border and king ezekiel was a little bit worried he was like, you know, we cross these borders, we're declaring war. But Carol's like, you know, we didn't agree to those rules. But King Ezekiel and Carol, I'm sure they're going to be both up for the war and to fight just because of Henry. Like we saw with the saviors, they were both very hesitant about going to war because they have a lot of people in the kingdom. But just because Henry died, I feel like they're going to be much more like open about it. And they're not going to be like waiting to go to war. They're going to be ready for it. Next, we have Daryl walking up to Lydia and, tell, and gives her a plate of food and says, make sure you eat something. We got to get these guys to Hilltop. So I, I really like how Daryl's character is always the character who's bonding with other people, especially like outsiders, because he himself, like he's been part of the group since the beginning. But I'm sure he can relate to people because he is he himself in a way is an outsider. 
And I, that's why in the previous episode, I liked how Michonne finally brought that up, that everybody has had a past they're not that you know proud of. Um, but the reason I bring that up is because I'm sure Lydia is going to need Daryl's support because I feel like there are going to be people in the group who are going to be upset at Lydia. There shouldn't be anybody who is going to be upset at Lydia, but I still feel like there might be a couple people here and there because, you know, Lydia is just a, care, a kid who wants to, you know, be part of this community that actually take takes care of her, you know, and not abuses her like her mom. So it makes sense why she wants to be there, and I like how Daryl is being very supportive. Next, we got Carol walking in Henry's room, and we have a picture of Henry and you know this uh, little card says prince henry and you know that's why like this is so nice and just super touching and I, that's why i really like that line from king ezekiel when he said the magic we built in this place because the kingdom is like no other community like they you know that's it's basically like a safe haven and it's a place people can go and forget about the outside world because king ezekiel he has his crew you know jerry diane a couple other people who deal with the bad people on the outside deal with all the you know trouble and all the other people the young kids and families they just have a good time in there and i just respect king ezekiel and the kingdom so much for that that's why i really you know hate seeing the kingdom go and man i feel so bad for carol like Carol and Maggie, those two characters, they can never catch a break on The Walking Dead. Like, season after season, something bad has to happen to them. Next, we got King Ezekiel looking at that charter, and he kind of, like, dragged his name across Tara, who signed the charter, and we saw, you know, in episode 15, she died. And I had a lot of people in my comments section for the review saying that they were also shocked that Tara died, which is, I know, I, I feel like it's so weird about Tara because... You know, she has been on the show for a long time, season 4, but by no means is she like a huge character, but it just feels so weird how she's gone now. Like, Tara definitely got cemented into the show. Like, I know whenever people do death predictions for the seasons and stuff, Tara's always like a character who's always up for discussion, because like I said, she's always in the background, not, not doing too much, but... You know, now that she's actually gone, it's kind of hard to believe. Like, I was, I, I honestly thought Rosita was going to go instead of her. Uh, but they definitely fooled us out. Like, I thought King Ezekiel was going to go too, but he didn't. And um, it was, uh, you know, Henry, uh, Henry and Tara instead of uh, Rosita and Ezekiel. And then King Ezekiel grabs a charter and kind of packs it away because they're getting ready to leave. Um, they're, they're getting ready to leave the kingdom because the next scene, we have them opening up the gates and they're all walking out. And it is going to be, uh, you know, the final scene at the kingdom. And then King Ezekiel gives the kingdom one last look and he shuts the gates, gets on his horse, and leaves. Farewell, kingdom. Season 7, episode 2 till season 9, episode 16. No, but I hopefully we, they come back to it, you know. I, I think they are going to come back to it next season because they have a lot of people in the kingdom. Like we just saw... Um, you know, they're all walking out of the kingdom or riding out of the kingdom and they have a lot of people there So, you know, I don't know if they're all gonna fit at the hilltop or Alexandria or they're gonna have to split I mean they could split and they could probably make that work But I'm assuming they're gonna come back next season when the weather gets better and speaking of the kingdom having a lot of people I'm interested to see how exactly they're because Daryl said we got to get them to the hilltop so I'm, I'm interested to see how this plan is gonna work because they have a lot of people there, and right now, the weather doesn't look that bad. Like, it looks like they can walk in it and ride in it, and they can probably get to the hilltop safe. But in the promo for this episode, like, that weather is really bad. And it looks like there's not that many people there. So I'm interested to see if, like, maybe some people are going to get lost, or some people could possibly die. But I feel like shit's going to get really chaotic because the snow, like, a, a blizzard is coming, and there's lots of kids there and family, so... I'm just interested to see how this is going to go. But I also think they might actually get to the hilltop in Alexandria and then this the blizzard might happen like afterwards. So it could happen like it doesn't have to be continuous like this. And that's what might be the case because Negan is also in that cell. And there was like a promo image going around of Negan and he had like, you know, a jacket on. So I'm sure they're going to I feel like what's really going to happen is they're going to go back to Alexandria and the hilltop. And they're going to probably give Negan like a jacket or something. And then they probably like the next day or the day after is when the blizzard's going to hit. So that was when the opening minutes uh, wraps up when King Zico gets on his horse and he rides off. But man, I'm excited for this episode for two reasons. We got the snow coming and then also that radio. And again, they're messing around with that radio. They keep teasing it. Like, that's what King Ezekiel, that speech we're hearing during the opening minutes, that's King Ezekiel talking into that radio. So I think he might be doing it for somebody to hear outside or something. And I'm assuming they're going to take that radio. I know I know for sure Eugene would want to take that radio. You know, he's not going to leave that behind at the kingdom. So I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting to see, like, maybe he sends that message and then, like, at the end of the episode, like, after the storm. Because I am assuming the storm is going to wrap up probably by the end of the episode, the blizzard, that is. 
And then, you know, at the end of that, maybe they're going to hear a voice, you know, responding to King Ezekiel. But like I said, that is where the opening minutes wraps up. So let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions on that. You know, what do you think about the kingdom? Do you think they're going to go back to the kingdom? And do you think that radio is going to play a significant role, you know, later on in the episode? So with that being said, I am going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And for more Walking Dead content just like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. Thank <music> you.